Hi, I'm Mike Feinzelber. And I am Rotem Perry. And we're from the Department of Biological Chemistry at the Weizmann Institute of Science. And we're happy to have this opportunity to describe our recent paper on subcellular knockout of important beta-1, specifically in axons. Over the past decade, we and others have shown that the retrograde injury signaling system in nerve axons is based on local synthesis of a critical protein important beta-1, which is made locally in the axon upon injury, connects to important alpha, which is bound to the molecular motor dynein, and is trafficked retrogradely to the cell body after the nerve lesion. One problem with this finding has been that a long-standing dogma in the field is that nerve axons are not capable of synthesizing proteins, a dogma enshrined in textbooks such as this. A second issue has been that important beta-1 is a critical gene for nuclear import and is an essential gene for mammalian development. We therefore needed a way to target important beta-1 specifically in axons without affecting its essential roles in the cell body and in the nucleus. In our study, we try to answer two questions. The first one is if importing beta-1 is really synthesized de novo after injury in axons, and if so, if it is required for efficient retrograde injury signaling. We started by identifying a region in the free prime UTR of importing beta-1 messenger RNA that was responsible for its localization in axons. This turned out to be a long form of the free prime UTR. The axon localizing capacity of the long three prime UTR of importing beta-1 was verified in a series of experiments, including in vivo experiments using GFP transgenic mice. This set the stage for a really definitive test of our model. If we could specifically knock out an important beta-1 message only from the axon, what would this do to production of important beta-1 protein in the axon, and what would be the significance for the retrograde injury signaling response? Good. Conditional knockout of the long UTR segment generate a mouse which is viable and fertile, and lacking both messenger RNA protein from importing beta-1 in sensory axons, both in culture and in vivo. In itself was already a very striking result since it shows that the axonal important beta-1 protein must originate from messenger RNA targeted to the axon. Now when we add a mouse that specifically lacks importing beta only from axons without affecting importing beta levels in the cell body, we could ask the question if importing beta-1 is critical for the uh, retrograde injury signaling. Microarray data from dorsal root ganglia after sciatic nerve injury clearly show a reduced transcriptional response in the free prime UTR knockout, and both functional and histological characterization of sciatic nerve lesion show delays recovery in the free prime UTR knockout animals. This indicates that local synthesis of importing beta-1 is critical for the retrograde injury signaling. The results of this study show how localized translation of a critical messenger RNA can allow spatial specificity in axonal soma communication. We expect that this new mouse model and others currently under development will allow a comprehensive analysis of the roles of such spatial signaling in diverse functions in the nervous system. Finally, we would like to thank our great collaborators in this study. The laboratories of Avram Yaron in Weizmann Institute of Science the laboratory of Jeff Twist in Drexel University, and also the lab of Giovanni Coppola in UCLA.